I thought I would present you with a brief perspective on India's current polymer consumption against the background of what is perceived today to be a weak economy on account of the pandemic. So as a result of COVID, many of you will agree that there is an overbearing sense of doom and gloom, not only across the world, but in India too. Clearly, India is no exception. We repeatedly hear on business channels these days about how our economy is shrinking, how India's GDP has fallen by its steepest extent ever, 23.9% in the April to June quarter, and how other than the agriculture sector, all sectors, including construction, manufacturing, and services, have suffered major declines. Last year, in the same quarter, India's economy grew by 5.2%. And due to the pandemic, we now have this frightening fall of nearly 24%. However, I would like to highlight the recent CPI numbers. For those of you who may not be familiar with the acronym CPI, it is simply Consumer Price Index, which is an index measuring retail inflation in the economy by collecting the change in prices of most common goods and services used by consumers. So CPI inflation today is at 7%. But with food inflation muted, Commodity infl inflation also muted. If CPI is at 7%, clearly all is in doom and gloom. On the contrary, the months of July and August have seen improvement. And going forward, I expect things will continue to improve as India unlocks. What is important to note here is that maybe, just maybe, the gloom, which most are speaking about, may just end up being a boom for India. Now, how you want, may wonder, and I'm sure all of you are thinking that what is this gentleman talking about? Well, there is one value invest in India whose visionary thinking resonates very well with my overall approach to the capital markets. And this brilliant thinker, his name is Mr. Saurabh Mukherjee of Marcellus Investment. He says that if you look back in India, 40 years, our country has had four economic booms. Every time the US economy slips into a recession, in year T plus one, India has had an economic boom. In 1980-81, the US was in recession. In 82, India had its first economic boom since independence. This lasted till 86-87. In 91-92, the US again slipped into recession. And in 93, India went, witnessed its second economic boom, which lasted until 97. In 2000-2001, America was once again in recession. And in 2003, our economic boom began and lasted until 2008. And we all know what happened in 2008 with Lehman Brothers which in turn resulted in a recession in the US, followed by, I, I'm guessing you guessed it, by a boom in India in 2009, 2011. And since then, we've not seen an economic boom, and yet India's per capita consumption of plastics has steadily climbed. So as per Polymer Update's estimates, India in 2019 consumed a little over 15 million metric tons of plastic, and the per capita figure stood at around 11 kgs. This is well below the world average of 28 kgs and sharply lower than the US where plastic consumption is at a staggering 109 kgs per capita. Today, the US is in recession and Polymer Update believes that like we have seen over the past 40 years, India will soon see the start of yet another economic boom in our country. I'm sure many of you must be wondering, but why does a US recession trigger a boom in India? What is the connection between the two economies? Is it merely a coincidence? Then on the back of every recession in America over the past 40 years, India's economy has ridden on an upward economic growth trajectory. Well, the key, two key drivers to this. The first, low oil, oil prices, cheap oil. The US today is the world's largest consumer of oil. In 2019, the US consumed an average of around 19.5 million barrels of oil per day. In comparison, China consumed 14 million, while India consumed around 5.2 million. Again, you may ask, how does this fit in with India's economic boom? Well, the answer is quite simple. When the world's largest oil consumer goes into a recession, oil prices globally tumble, anywhere between 50 to 80%. This year too, with the US being in recession, prices of crude are down 55%. India has an 82.8% .8 dependence on imported oil, making us the third largest importer in the world after the US and China. So if you give India a 50% drop in oil prices, that is a huge 3% GDP stimulus to our country. In fact, it is from this 3% that our Honorable Prime Minister has given our economy a 2% stimulus to help us recover from the devastating impact of the pandemic. There's still room for 1% more. 
The second thing after cheap oil that a U.S. recession does is it makes the cost of money cheaper. The U.S. 10-year bond yield is the world's risk-free rate, and typically in a U.S. recession, we see this falling between 2% and 3%. In Jan 2020, it was 3%, and today it is zero. This fall, ladies and gentlemen, allows the Reserve Bank of India to cut interest rates. So far, the RBI has cut rates by 2%, and I suspect they will further slash rates this fiscal. So based on what history has taught us, cheap oil and cheap money equals to an Indian economic boom. This will be India's fifth economic boom, and we at Polymer Update believe rural India will play a key role this time round. We at Polymer Update believe that plastics will play an important role in India's fifth economic boom. Plastics will find a wider range of uses than ever before. And within the next two to three years, we believe that India's polymer consumption will cross 20 million metric tons per annum. Dependence on plastics will increase rapidly, not only in urban India, but rural India too. And this growth will be supported by our pressing need for consumer durables, electronics, packaging, fuel efficient vehicles, space exploration, air travel, and the list can go on and on and on. On account of the long-term stability of plastics because of its good weatherability, stable properties, durability, excellent chemical resistance, etc., plastics will play a vital role in India's future growth. Thank you.